Hey, what's going on guys? It's No Shoes and we're back with another Aesop Frock Day. Today we're going to be reacting to The Harbor Is Yours. This is suggested by Hank Brubaker, so thank you Hank for the suggestion. Keep coming in the comments down below. Let me know what y'all want to see next time and make sure you guys hit like and subscribe if you want to see more Ace every single Friday in addition to all the other great videos we got throughout the week. But without any further ado, let's see what Ace has to say. Let's see what the harbor is yours is all about. Let's get it. Remix! Man, tell no tales. Uh -huh. Push the daisies okay. till the saw and the stale. Uh -huh. And the batter blue tops for the former sale. Mr. Here Big Sea with the cop and care. Look, once upon a time in the. Okay. Very unique feel coming in. Having just like the snapping. Having those kind of like remixed vocal samples and then Ace coming in over top of it really providing the only structure beyond that snap. The remix sample very at the beginning. You gotta let me know in the comments. Is this track made from a remix? Is that just for fun inflection? I don't know. I like it. But uh, what does it mean? I'm not sure. But let's see how this drop hits. Uh -huh. Push the daisies till the saw and the stale And the powder blue tops will the former sale Mr. Here Big we C go. with uh -huh. the carpet care Look, once upon a time in the days of yore When the people lived fresh at a legend and folklore There wasn't no power to pilot the vile slang Had a bird perch on the swashbuckle the same Peck okay. leg navigate him starboard to Nice storytelling type of feel Great flow, kind of reminds me of Long Legged Larry, which is actually the first Ace track I ever heard. Love the sound of the guitar, great feel to the beat so far. I got a bird perch on the swashbuckle the same. Peck leg navigate him starboard to port by the nautical story. I yell in the harbor is yours. You should tell him where you should. Okay, swashbuckle in, starboard to port, the harbor is yours. Getting some like pirate esque water based rhymes makes sense with the title of the track. Okay, box of a buccaneer. Really talking about a treasure chest, but that's such a better way to refer to it. You get the uh, you get the alliteration out of the bees, talking about the spoils, the souvenirs, all these different topics. Really just talking about treasure, gold, and all of that. And then we got this mysterious piano coming in the background. <laughs> Uh, that's a great impression, right? But <laughs> but re regardless, the layers they're building, just as Ace pretty much always has, and it adds a great element. Higher every year, he was suffocating, slow in the box of a buccaneer. Ten summers prior on a night like this, crow's nest goes something that floats in a boat's west. Sworn blue of a kiss, when he focuses in the face of an angel upon the body of a book. What the heck, Razzle the telescope shattered, gathered himself. She was ghost, he was down the rope, ladder to deck. Circle the vessel to 360, swiftly found nothing in the water but salt, piss, and whiskey. We are echoed by the That's cool. Nothing in the water but salt, piss, and whiskey. Sounds like the like a great night, man. I don't know about the piss at least. But <laughs> but yeah, it's very much storytelling. A lot of imagery. That he's bringing to the forefront, talking about circling around the vessel, you know, searching around the ship. It's great. We found nothing in the water but salt, piss, and whiskey. You are echoed by the swabbies at the bar. He'll be the laughing stock of the Barbary Coast war. Like this dude either got two glass eyes or he wearing his patch on the wrong side. I like this. This dude's either got two glass eyes or he's wearing his patch on the wrong side. 
guy saying like, look, either this guy's fully blind or he's just so dumb that he don't know what he's doing. But then it reminds me of Mythbusters where they talked about the eye patch wasn't actually about missing eyes. It was about pirates having one eye that was used to darkness. So that way when they would go under, uh, you know, inside the boat, they could flip it up and they would already be like halfway adjusted to darkness. I don't know if there's any truth to that. I can't remember what they said, but eye patches. Weird idea, right? Meanwhile, back in the now, got a brand new skillet and crew on the boat now. When they arm in and dirty burning cannons turn up bow, they are pouring shiny metals at your mouth. Mu mu okay, you win so they. Oh, the effects on his voice, the way mouth just kind of grows, <clears throat> and it takes on. I don't know what the word is. Maybe almost like a growly kind of, kind of gritty quality. Hold up. Yeah, this is cool. You know, the captain, his quartermaster shows up with the treasure map. He's out on the water with the new crew, he was saying a second ago. Just... A great idea, man. Why not have a song about being a pirate? And what would what would you do if you were a pirate? And uh, you'd be looking for treasure. You'd be hiding your gold. You'd be looking for more. You'd be out on the sea. It's a uh, it, it, it's a really cool idea. Completely unexpected, but I'm a fan of it, man. One look down and left off the dock. See if you can guess where X marked the spot. The capital was buried at sea in a cursed cave. Only one mob from where we've seen the burp, burp, burp. Anchors up, push the Jolly Roger. Thank you, much day and I would have took hands raised in clutch. But see the vitamin deficiency was strong. So a lot of time they bumped into the island. And now we got like a horn type of sound coming in at the bottom, taking up a little bit of that bassy space in the track. Hold up. And I would have took hands raised in clutch, but see the vitamin deficiency was strong. So by the time they bumped into the island, it could barely lift his bra. Crawled off the boat, collapsed in the sand. Prayers in the air, sea shells in his hand. And every a hot time, so grand is the one that put the. And then that's a great way to kind of juxtapose things. Hold up. I think he said prayers in the air, hands in the air, seashells in the sand. Kind of giving us the as above and the so below of it all. What are what's at the top and what's at the bottom of this chain here? Sand and every a hot time so grand is the one that put the lady in the lake on dry look 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 And I wish I could tell you that it ended happy. Pretend like a phone. Practically snapping, pretend like her gills didn't dry up and suffer. But that's a half dead pirate and a fish out of water. No lies, got tired, got a million more. From the burgundy lighting above the shores, a whores before your visions of grandeur go to swallow those sails. Remember, dead men tell no tears. Yeah, this is beautiful, man. The construction of it. Very interesting structure. There's really not a clear hook on this track. There was a section <clears throat> just about the middle that I took to be a hook of sorts. Now I'm realizing it was more of a bridge that we had a vocal going over. It kind of feels like it's split up into about two verses. Maybe that'll change once I take a look at the structure of this later on. But, um... But great feel to it. The evolution of the beat. It really almost feels like water. There's like this slight rock back and forth. Almost like a slosh to the flow. And the way the emphasis shifts. And the way these instruments come in and out and build on each other. But there's so many layers going on. Everything is mixed clearly. You can hear his voice out above everything else. And it's just beautifully done.
The scratched vocals must be one of my favorite things on any track. Sometimes I can't tell, like in the in the section where he said it's the mermaid, or however he phrased that exactly, if that's something he actually did with his mouth, or if that's something that was done later in the production process using, you know, a plug-in and his voice as a sample. But regardless. Those scratched vocals add so much character, a feeling of like syncopation almost, and really just pay tribute to the the DJ and MC roots of hip hop, which is always something we should pay homage to. <laughs> Into the sea. Nice. And then it kind of just bounces off into the distance. But that was The Harbor Is Yours from Aesop Rock. I loved that track. I hope you guys did as well. Thank you again to Hank for the suggestion. Keep coming in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, and hit that bell. Much love to everybody in the No Shoes Gang. And I will see you all next time.